All right, welcome to this Tobacco University video. We'll be covering general design features for a cannabis production room. Let's get into some of the design features regarding a cannabis production room. So generally environment factors to consider. Just remember that a large room does not need anything different than a small room, but some environmental aspects can be harder to achieve as the grow space gets larger. Basic items to consider, which will be covered here, are lights, temperature, water, air circulation, plant density, as well as ceiling height. So let's get into some of the specifics here, starting with lights. So you want to know what your electrical circuit can handle, as this may determine the total plants you can grow or what you need to upgrade to, what kind of level you need to upgrade to. Now, the type and wattage of lights you plan on using will impact the total coverage area per light. In addition, you want to take into consideration other factors such as HVAC systems, fans, and other things that may need power, but lights tends to require the most wattage, so definitely something to consider there. In addition to our lights, we also have the temperature to regulate, so heating and or cooling a larger space can be a challenge. Remember the regulation of temperature needs to take into consideration all plant supporting equipment. As I just talked about here, the lights. Uh, we could also be looking at fans and anything else that you might have running in the production area grow space. Then there is water. So will you be using um, stored water or using it directly out of a source? Uh, if you're using stored water, can the floor support the weight of a water tank you plan on using? Remember, one gallon of water weighs about 8.33 pounds. So a 250-gallon water tank will weigh 2,082 and a half pounds. Does your water source supply the volume and pressure you need? And to answer that question, you need to know what chosen irrigation system or fertilization system you're using to make sure that is the case. Also, the very important air circulation. So as a single room increases in square feet, moving air can be a continual challenge. Fans on the walls are a common solution, but more air, air movement may be necessary. So this can mean overhead fans and our fans within the grow space might be needed. So we can see here, there's some on the walls, but there's also some down here on the floor. We also get to plant, talking about plant density. So total plants per square foot is partially dependent on the pruning method, but in general, a full-size plant, you want to plan for having one plant per five square feet or two plants per every square meter, just to give you a general idea um, of how many pl your plant density should be. And lastly, ceiling height. So it's important factor to consider. The height of the ceiling can impact the amount of air circulation and spacing of plants and lights. Higher ceilings offer more flexibility for the growing space, but also make it more costly to enrich with carbon dioxide. So again, taking into considering these pros and cons with your growth space and definitely have a plan for each of these particular environmental factors mentioned here.